So apparently, John's a Targaryen, and <laughs> all right, today, well, all right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're just gonna be watching this fun little silly video: R plus L equals J, who is John's mother, whatever, and father, and everything like that from Game of Thrones. Basically, it's gonna show us like all the little hints that led up to the moment revealing John was a Targaryen and everything. And oh. As you may know, if you watched my season six, episode 10 video, you might have known that like that went kind of right over my head. So we're going to see exactly how this all worked out, you know, to be honest, to be honest. OK, yeah, Rhaegar's his dad, Lena's his mom. And to be honest, this is going to sound so shitty. This is going to sound so shitty, but I didn't even know Ned had a sister. <laughs> that that's so sh I know. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. And then Rhaegar, I have no idea how Rhaegar came into the picture, if I'm being honest. I just know he's like Khaleesi's brother, or he's Daenerys' brother, and like, that's it. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, this video was suggested by Amanda over on Patreon, so thank you so much, Amanda. Shout out to you. So anyways, let's get started. Okay. All right, playing now. Okay, played. That's my grandfather, Lord Rickard. He was burned alive by the Mad King Aerys. That's Lyanna, my father's sister. Mm -hmm. King Robert was supposed to marry her, but Rhaegar Targaryen kidnapped her. The last time I was in the capital was many years ago. Another wedding. My sister Elia and Rhaegar Targaryen, the last dragon. My sister loved him, and beautiful noble Rhaegar Targaryen left her for another woman. That started a war, and the war ended right here. Your Aunt Lyanna, Lord Went of the great tourney at Harrenhal. The last two writers were Barristan Salmi and Rhaegar Targaryen. When Rhaegar won, he rode right past his wife, and he lay a crown of winter roses in Lyanna's lap. And all the smiles died. I've never seen so many people so quiet. Oh. Robert started a war to win her back. He killed Rhaegar. But she died anyway. Did you have to bury her in a place like this? She should be on a hill somewhere with the sun and the clouds above her. She was my sister. This is where she belongs. Okay. She belonged with me. In my dreams, I kill him every night. <laughs> it's done, your grace. Targaryens are gone. Do you know what happened to the Targaryen children when the Mad King fell? They were butchered in the... Okay. 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 I'm gonna be completely honest here. A lot of this so far is from, like, the early, early, like, season one. And you guys... I hate that I, like, I did this, but when I watched season one, I literally talked over, like, everything. And, like, I... And I just, I underestimated how important everything was, if I'm being honest. So, like, I remember that scene of Ned and Robert in there, but, like, when they were talking about it, I was, like, I guess I just wasn't, like, taking it, like, as seriously as I should have, which sounds so shitty, and, like, I really wish I didn't do it. But I'm going to go back a couple seconds. Hold on, because I want to hear something again. Good night. In my dreams, I can't. But anyway, did you have to lay a crown of winter roses in the house? Okay, this scene right here with Sansa and Bailey. So this is from like season five. I re I have a very good memory of this scene, and like I was listening to this, but I remember watching like this scene um in the episode, and I was kind of confused by what the hell they were talking about. I was like, who the fuck is Rhaegar, or whatever, and like, I was like Rhaegar. Like it took me a second to like realize who he was and everything and honestly i kind of just figured oh rhaegar targaryen okay that's probably like one of uh obviously it's a relative of daenerys but it's probably someone who lived a while ago you know but no they're actually very recently alive relative to game of thrones and everything and so this scene right here i kind of just was like oh whatever sounds so shitty but it's like i had like no context leading up to it you know because when they talked about it prior it was just like because, like, the very first time they introduced him, like, back in, uh, like, in this video. Robert was supposed to marry her, but Rhaegar Targaryen kidnapped her. 
yeah, this is when Bran's like a child in season one. And it's like, again, in season one, I just didn't take it that seriously, like a dumbass. And like, that honestly pisses me off now. But... One, he rode right past his wife, and he lay a crown of winter roses in Lyanna's lap. And all the smiles died. I've never seen so many people so quiet. Robert started a war to win her back. He killed Rhaegar. But she died anyway. Did you have to bury her in a place like this? Okay. She should be on her. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. Because with the scene with um, that Bran was watching with Ned, or whatever... Rhaegar Targaryen stole Robert's wife, which was Ned's sister, okay? Yeah, Ned having a sister is pretty much brand new to me, which sounds so shitty. But it's like, then again, going back in season one, I just didn't know. Like, okay, honestly, though, I'm not even going to lie. In season one, they drop so much information on you. It's like so much, just boom. I got, like... I'm still trying to process the last thing they said and like make sure I remember it. Then they give you like you this story or whatever. And then it's like talking over it doesn't help at all. So that, yeah, that really sucks. I'm so pissed I did that. And then at the same time, it's like, it doesn't really help that I kind of can't go back and like rewind it. Like obviously I could, but the thing with that is that would just completely ruin the full length version of the episode. If I just kept going back like every... I don't know, a couple minutes whenever I did, I would have to constantly resync it, right? Which would be a pain in the ass for me when I edit it. It would probably add like an extra, probably add like an extra two or three hours of editing, which sucks. And then also for you guys who who want to watch the full length versions, I would hate to make you guys constantly be resyncing it. Like, oh, we're going back 10 seconds because I like, due to legal reasons, I can't just show you the entire episode with the audio and the video because I don't want to get a cease and desist and get a felony. So, you know, I blur it out and then I just put a timestamp on the screen. So you guys have to sync up your own version. So there's also that. And what I've learned to do is watch it through all the way once, right? So that doesn't mess up the full length version. And then if I have questions, I can go back and watch a YouTube video explaining it. I've done that a couple times and it's helped out so much because it's just either explains what I didn't understand or just confirms what I already thought was true. So it's like, okay, that helps a lot. Because like, yeah, he, after hearing all this now, this seems way too, this seems way more obvious now. But okay, where were we? Targaryens are gone. Do you know what happened to the Targaryen children when the Mad King fell? They were butchered in the sleep. Yeah, oh, wait, wait, wait. One more thing, one more thing, one more thing. So that's why uh, Ned's sister is like, you have to protect them or whatever. She meant protect, protect this baby from Robert. Right? Because this baby is a Targaryen. This is Rhaegar Targaryen's kid. And Rhaegar Targaryen totally swooped uh, Robert's wife, Lena, from him. And so, yeah, I, I'd assume if Robert knew he was a Targaryen, he would have he would have had him killed. Okay. The Order! Say her name! You raped her! You murdered her! You killed her children! When I heard they had killed my brother's son, and his poor son, and the children. Oh, Aemon Targaryen. Aerys Targaryen has wed some Dothraki horse lord. What of it? I'll kill every Targaryen I get my hands on. You yep. can't get your hands on this one, can you? For 20 years, the spider oversaw the campaign to find and kill me. I want him dead. Mother and child, both. You'll dishonor yourself forever if you do this. Honor? I've got seven so this is so this is why he wanted Daenerys dead so badly. Obviously, she was a very she was a very real threat, but at the same time, she's a Targaryen, and he hate it's just his it's just his hatred for Targaryens. That's why he had no moral issues doing this. And Ned was like, nah. Them rules, and we're no better than the Mad King. Careful, Ned. Yeah. Careful now. You want to assassinate a girl? I will have no part in it. You will do mm -hmm. as I command, or I'll find me a hand who will go as far away as you can. As many men as you can. Because wherever you go, Robert's wrath will follow you. How many tens of thousands had to die because Rhaegar chose your aunt? Yes, he chose her. And then he kidnapped her and raped her. See, when he said Rhaegar chose your aunt right there, that's Ned's sister, right? I automatically assumed he meant, um... Catelyn's sister, her other aunt, her other aunt or whatever from the Vale, who 
Baelish was married to that he totally shoved, right? But then uh, at the same time, I was like, well, Rhaegar, I don't think she was married to someone else. She was married to, um, what's his fucking name? God damn it. Okay, I don't remember his name, but it was also revealed in that same episode right before Baelish kill, uh, pushed her off and killed her. He killed her last husband. I, I'm blanking so hard on his name right now. But, so when he said Rhaegar right here, I was like, wait, Lysa Ann, pretty sure that's her name, the girl from the Vale, Robin's mom, you know who I'm talking about, Sansa's aunt, her other aunt on the Catelyn side, I was like, wait, well, she wasn't married to Rhaegar, but then I, I kind of just assumed, like, well, I missed something, I missed something, so that, I don't know, I kind of just went with it, and I was like, okay, whatever, just keep it moving, you know, so, yeah, fucked up right there, too, okay, my B, my B. It's see, it's like with with this show, I don't know what I don't know, you know. So it's like really shitty, but okay, whatever. When your brother Rhaegar led his army into battle of the Trident, men died for him because they believed in him, because they loved him. Rhaegar fought valiantly. Rhaegar fought nobly. And Rhaegar died. Yeah, that's literally how I. That's when I realized, oh, Rhaegar is her uh, brother. Okay, cool. You know. Did you know him well, Sir Barristan? Like when I watched this episode live. I did, Joe Price. The finest man I ever met. He liked to walk among the people. He liked to sing to them. He sang to them. Viserys never told you. He told me Rhaegar was good at killing people. Rhaegar never liked killing. He loved singing. Seventeen years ago, you rode off with Robert Baratheon. You came back a year later with another woman's son. Mind you. Yeah, see, and then this is the thing too. I always thought that John was Ned's kid. Well, that's what they wanted us to know. That's what they wanted us to think, but he wasn't. It was his sister's kid, and that's why he lied to everyone, saying it was his kid because he had to protect the boy. He had to protect John from Robert, and like Robert's literally like one of his best friends. That's insane. Ned held that lie since like what? He, he was probably like how old was he in that flashback? That Brand was watching. I don't know. I'm gonna say he held that lie for like 30 years. For the feast, Lady Stark thought it might insult the royal family to see the bastard in their midst. I want you to leave. I never met my mother. My father wouldn't even tell me her name. I don't know if she's living or dead. Your bastard's mother. He never told me what she looked like. No, will I? <laughs> you hated that boy, didn't you? That makes way more sense. How could you not hate him? The walking, talking reminder that the Honorable Lord Eddard Stark fucked another woman. Do you think highly of this boy? That's why Coward hated him so much. Good. Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. I mean, she loved him, of course, you know. But, you know, she, I think eventually she accepted him as her son. But at, at first she hated him. Heaven's slut. Perhaps, but that wasn't Ned Stark's way. It must have been a rare wench to make Lord Eddard Stark forget his honor. What is honor? Nah, bro. You have no idea, Robert. You have no idea. Paired to a woman's love. And what is duty against the feel of a newborn son in the land? You are a Stark. You know, that scene with Robert and Ned right there, the dude play who's playing Ned, did a really good job in that scene because now like watching these clips back i feel like i believe that he knew that you know like like he did a really good job acting as if like he knew yeah i didn't actually cheat on my wife i'm just i'm keeping that lie you know i hope that makes sense like i wonder if the actor knew that eventually like so he could like kind of act it act it out in that way i don't know oh shit i muted it yeah, you are a Stark. You might not have my name. But you have my blood. Is my mother alive? Does she know about me, where I am, where I'm going? The next time we see each other, we'll talk about your mother. Mm -hmm. I promise. House Targaryen is gone. That's not awesome. a single person who shares your blood is alive to support you. The Targaryen. Alone in the world. It's a terrible thing. Mm -hmm. Mr. Raymond. Sansa came to court this morning. 
to bleed for your life. You think my life is some precious thing to me? That I would trade my honor for a few more years of war? What of your daughter's life, my lord? Oh, we all do our duty when there's no cost to it. Honor comes easier than you. Yet, sooner or later, in every man's life, there comes a day when it is not easy. A day when he must chew. I am Eddard Stark. I come before you to confess my treason. If the day should ever come when your Lord Father was forced to choose between honor on the one hand and those he loves on the other, what would you do? You would do whatever was right, no matter what. Most of us are not so strong. When my husband brought that baby home from the war, I couldn't bear to look at him. So I prayed to the gods, take him away, make him die. He got the pox. And I knew I was the worst woman who ever lived. So I prayed to all seven gods, let the boy live. Let him live. And I'll love him. I'll be a mother to him. And he lived. And I couldn't keep my promise. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's not her fault. And everything that's happened it's since then. All this horror that's come to my family. It's all because I couldn't love a motherless child. because some of you have probably heard the story before, but we had a very long lunch with George where we told them what we wanted to do with the adaptation. And we had a three-hour talk. At the very end of it, George said, okay, okay, who is Jon Snow's real mother? Oh, sh oh shit. Okay, well, um, got some bad news. My screen record stopped because we're out of um, storage, but we're basically at the end of the thing, so, okay. Well, okay. Oh. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> that makes way more sense. <laughs> like, okay. I'm pretty sure, okay. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure if I just, if I just knew who Rhaegar was and that he had a thing with Lena and Lena was Ned's sister, I think I would have got that. I think I would have got it when it revealed us in season six, episode ten. Like just knowing that by itself makes it way more obvious, you know. And like after I edited uh, season six, episode ten, here's the thing too. When okay, Ned went to her on the bed, you know, she called him big brother. And when I was watching that, my audio was so goddamn low, I didn't even hear her say that. So it's like even if I did, even if I was pretty aware of her and Rhaegar, and like yeah, that's that Ned has a sister, I probably wouldn't even have caught that it was her because I missed that one little line. <clears throat> Damn, dude, it must be frustrating as fuck watching my reactions to Game of Thrones because like I just that one story i just missed and then it just and it just ruined this big ass reveal that oh my god dude i'm so pissed i'm so pissed off dude <laughs> but hey you win some you lose some it happens like okay this is it makes me wish i really took season one way more seriously it's not that like I wasn't taking it. Well, okay, I'm gonna be honest too. Like I didn't know what I was doing when I like made those season one videos. I just kind of thought that like if I sat there and said nothing and like just you know I didn't I wasn't doing enough. I thought the videos were just gonna be so shitty and they were gonna be really boring and everything. But no, I've I've realized that no that that's not true at all. Like it's better to know what the hell's happening, <laughs> you know. And I. And I think I'm doing a way better job now of like not talking over anything. Like, I think I do a better job of picking and choosing when to say something. And I mean like, yeah, every now and then I still talk over something pretty important and you know, but it is what it is. 
I can't be perfect. But like, this just makes me want to rewatch season one now. I, I'm so down for a season one rewatch. If you guys are, I am so down for it. Actually, so my parents, I'm trying to get my parents to watch Game of Thrones, right? I, I'm trying to get them to watch it because I want to see the pain they have when we they hit the red wedding. I want to see that so bad. And so I'm trying to get them to watch it. They're not really watching it, but I watched the first episode with them and oh my God, everything made so much sense. Everything made way more sense. Obviously, because I'm really deep in the show now, but I just, okay. At the same time, I remember when I was watching season one, episode one, dude, they threw out so much information at me too, though. Like, no, dude, they throw out so much information at you at, at once. It's literally insane. I just assume that like, oh my God, that was quiet as hell. I am so sorry, guys. But I probably just assumed when I was watching it, I probably just assumed, okay, I'll see those characters eventually later on. But I didn't know they were fucking dead. Um, it took me a while to learn every character on screen's name. You know, I had to rely on just like seeing them again and hearing their name again, you know? Like, I, like I didn't catch everyone's name very first time I heard it. So there's also that, so. And like, to be fair, this is all brand new to me too. Like all the lore is brand new. I severely underestimated how deep the lore in their show goes and everything like that. And so, you know, it's like when I hear, when I hear those stories about like Rhaegar and everything, it's like, okay, do I need to remember that? I have no idea. I don't even know who Rhaegar is. I like, I don't even know what the fuck a Targaryen is, <laughs> you know, by the time we heard all that, but like when we first heard about him and everything, you know, like obviously it's a family house, but like still you, but like still, it's so much new information at once. And plus in the fact that like, I just was a dumbass about everything, talked over everything, didn't take it that seriously. And like, I feel so shitty about that now. But then again, like rewatching it, it seems way more obvious now, you know? And plus since I was watching it with my parents, I wasn't saying anything. I was just sitting in there like this, just watching it, you know? And so I, I didn't talk over anything and everything was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, you know? Like, okay, honestly, it is, there is a difference between watching something on camera and just chilling, you know? Like I'm completely relaxed on the couch, just not a thought in the world, just watching whatever, you know? Versus this, like it's still, it's still really fun to watch these, but at the same time, like I'm worried that, okay, that my memory card stopped, is my mic still going? Is my light gonna shut off, you know? Oh, is someone gonna walk in, you know? There's there's a lot of things I'm thinking about at once. So, you know, but that's not an excuse. That's not an excuse, not at all. But I'm just saying, there is a big difference. There is a big difference. If you don't believe me, do it. Just record yourself watching something and like, you'll like you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, like your brain kind of freezes and hesitates, you know? It's like something in your head makes perfect sense and then you try and like explain it to your friend or whatever. And you kind of like just start stumbling upon your words. It's kind of like that, you know, it's like, you can't really articulate it in the way you want, which is also kind of like a me problem. You know, I need to get better at that. It's not something I'm trying to get better at, so that too. Wait, I'm reading this comment on the video right now. The the prince who was promised, so that was John. It was a promise that allowed him to live. Promise me, Ned. Wow, that's so good right there. That's so good. I don't know if that's like literally true or it's just like a coincidence, you know, like that. Or is that literally why he's the prince that was promised? But yeah, that was R plus L equals J. That was a great video. Made everything make a lot more sense. Um, if there's anything else in Game of Thrones like this that like, I'm just not aware of, because like I said, I don't know what I don't know. Please like let me know. Just be like, don't spoil anything obviously, but just be like, hey, check out this character. Check out these two characters. You know, make sure you know what's good with them. You know, something like that. That, that, that would, I would very much appreciate that. So, but anyways. Yeah, that was R plus L equals J. Comment down below what you thought about this, this video down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.